After having used Lightroom and Photoshop for many years, I found a program that works much better for my needs, at a much more affordable price, and is also great fun to use. In this video I will show you an overview of On One Photo Raw, the perfect solution for all my needs in terms of photo editing, as well as photo and video management. Over the years I have had questions from users searching for an alternative to Lightroom and Photoshop, in many cases to avoid the subscription plan and get a cheaper option, possibly with a one-off price. So, since I'm always wishing to help my community, I have analyzed several alternative programs like Luminar, Capture One, Exposure, Affinity. It was quite a lot of work, so a little thumb up would be very much appreciated. I was surprised by the average quality of these programs and the advance in the use of artificial intelligence. I was expecting some sort of poor man Lightroom and Photoshop, but some of these packages compete seriously with Adobe offering, at least in some specific areas. But none of the above offers a complete solution to what I need. The area where they generally lack is organizing tool from my library of photos, and even more importantly, for my library of videos, which for me is an absolute must. The only program offering all the functionality I need is On One Photo Raw. It has practically the same capabilities as Lightroom in terms of photo and video management. In this video I will not go into cataloging and image management, even though they are extremely useful as I know that most users find this topic extremely boring. Please let me know in the comment below if you are interested in a specific video about it. I will instead show a quick overview of the capability of this program for editing, combining the most interesting functionality of Lightroom and of Photoshop. I was so impressed by its capabilities that I ended up adopting On One Photo Raw as my new tool, replacing Lightroom and Photoshop. I also decided to become an affiliate, so if you're interested in purchasing this product and go through the links supplied in the description, I will gain a small commission that really helps the channel. But the reason why I decided to adopt On One Photo Raw is that I consider it by far the best solution for my needs. You will find all the different pricing options in the description below. The interface for color grading is similar to the one in Lightroom, but with several extra options. We access this by the icon Edit and then the tab Develop. There is an auto-toning button based on artificial intelligence that actually works quite well for a starting point. We have the usual sliders for exposure, highlights, shadows, white and black. There is also an extra slider for mid-tones, which I find very useful. The contrast slider works much better than in Lightroom. There is a structure slider to increase micro detail, and again, it works well without creating any artifacts. The haze slider is similar to the haze in Lightroom, but more gentle, and again, it does not create artifacts or color banding. In the color panel, there is an auto white balance that often does a good job. There are also two purity sliders to slightly desaturate the highlights or the shadows in case of color casts. The function for denoising is based on AI and it is the best I found in any program so far. As you can see, with a simple touch the noise is completely gone without losing much detail. Magic. It is of course possible to fine tune with individual sliders. The sky swapping feature is extremely useful and can be customized in plenty of ways. There are different themes to choose from, aurora, clouds, dramatic, long exposure, night, reflection, spring, storm, sunset. 
Plenty of images are available for each team. Then we have many options for fine-tuning. We can shift the image sideways to modify the pattern, reduce the opacity, feather the edge, scale the image for adjusting the pattern, modify the temperature and the brightness, blur the clouds. We can also control how the light from the sky affects the elements in the foreground by selecting the hue, the amount and the distance of the light. There is also a choice of blending mode, but I suggest leaving it on multiply. A specific module for portraits can be activated from this tab. Faces are automatically detected and it is possible to apply all sorts of skin retouching, modify the brightness of the face, slim the face, modify the size of each eye. There are also a set of sliders for retouching the eyes and the mouth. There are two main tools for local adjustments, the adjustment brush and the adjustable gradient. They can be selected at the top of the screen. They work in a similar way as in Lightroom, but when using the adjustable gradient, we have some interesting shape options. We can get something like the radial filter in Lightroom, and also a reflected gradient, where the effect is applied to the two sides around a movable inner area, which remains unaffected. After applying this adjustment, we can access the relative mask and fine tune it. In the menu on the left, we can click on the retouch icon for other local adjustments like the healing brush, the perfect eraser, the retouch brush and the clone stamp. All we need to get rid of unwanted element in the image within the same application and still in raw format. There is also the possibility to add text to an image within the same application and still in RAW format. Another huge time saver compared to Lightroom where a trip to Photoshop is needed. On the Effect tab we can access an array of filters, allowing to add all sorts of special effects to our image. They act in a similar way as filters in Photoshop, and each of them is fully adjustable by sliders and contains its own pre-made presets. I could do several videos analyzing these effects, they open huge avenues for creativity. Each effect has its own mask that can be modified to apply the effect only to a portion of the image. On the left part of the screen we have a tab of preset which are made from combination of effort and can be again adjusted and masked. I strongly suggest playing around with effort and preset, the possibility are endless and it is great fun. It is also possible to add several layers in an image for composite photos. On one, not only does everything Lightroom can do in a more complete way, but also contains several of the functionality of Photoshop, with the advantage of a much faster and simpler workflow, always in RAW format and in a non-destructive workflow. On one also contains tools for merging to HDR, merging to panorama, focus stacking and time lapses. It would take too much time to analyze them here. I will do a specific video if you are interested. Are there any downside in this excellent program? Well, in some instances it is just a touch slower than Lightroom and Photoshop, but the graphic processor in my computer is a bit outdated and that could be the issue. Also, I have noticed at times some tiny artifacts with HDR ghosting and panorama stitching, but they can be solved within seconds using the excellent masking tools. Let me know in a comment below which program you use for editing and organizing 
your photos and videos. Click on this link to watch my video on photography with a DJI R2S. I will replace it with links on other reviews of On One Photo Raw as soon as I will publish them. Don't forget to hit the like button if you find this video interesting.